had three beautiful children. Well, the first thing I would love to have is a door to close and lock and feel safe every night. I've been beaten up and still the fear of being hurt every day. Heidi, she is the type of person that we know don't deserve to live on a street. One of the things we're trying to do is raise money for our Simplicity Village. We're fundraising on the internet through crowdfunding. We're asking for people to be as generous as they can because we're talking about the lives of people that are unhoused, that are in critical need of a hand up. And that's what Chad is trying to do with Simplicity Village. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Hi, I'm Bob Troush, a founding member of Chat Chico Housing Action Team. We are in business for the last five years. We're a 501c3. And we came together actually to try and end homelessness in our community. Since that point, we had the campfire that has added 19,000 people to our community. We started with Safe Space, which is a winter shelter. From there, we started a Housing Now program that has had well over 100 people in it at this point with 33 homes throughout our community. We started a High End Up program just recently where we're taking families from the street that are in crisis and surrounding them with services. But our goal all along has been to build a village. We have such support in our community. We have it from the police department, the fire department, the city, the county, all of the organizations in this community are surrounding us with help and services. Hi, my name is Scott Huber. I'm a council member on the Chico City Council. We have consistently supported CHAT in their Simplicity Village efforts. I've personally involved myself in homeless issues over the last couple of years and of all the organizations that I've been involved with, CHAT has been the one that I keep coming back to to want to work with. I worked with them on their Simplicity Village tiny house build-off. I just feel like they're an organization that can get things done in the shortest period of time and we need things done as soon as possible. My name is Pat Conroy. I'm a local builder. We donated a tiny house to the Simplicity Village project and uh, I think it's going to be a huge success. I think everybody in that organization is passionate and it's going to be a well-run project and I'd like to help them in the future. I think it's a good solution to a huge problem. There'll be 44 senior homeless people residing on this place. This is where the communal house will be. It's going to house the washers, dryers, showers and food. We'll have phase one there. Phase two will be on this side of the property. What this will entail is the driveway is coming in through here for Simplicity Village. It's fenced completely. It will have a gate monitored 24-7 to make ensure that nobody comes in here except the people that are living on this complex. So what this project is going to entail in this beginning is to get sewer, water, power, curbs, any gutters, any other on-site and off-site to make this happen. We are so excited about Simplicity Village. We've been working six years to make it happen. We have such support in this community from the builders, from the city, to churches, to service organizations. But we need infrastructure. Without the infrastructure, without the bathrooms, without the kitchens, without the sewer, without the water, it's not possible for us to build out. We have to meet certain requirements to make Simplicity Village happen. We're so close, but at this point, we need you to join us to make that a reality for us, for the people that we're gonna be able to house out here, who are 55 and older, who need a second chance at life, and we have the ability to give it to them. So please, again, join us in helping make that happen. Mm -hmm.